Oh, welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about javascript array so first we are going to see what is array i'm just going to give you some information what is array the array object lets you store multiple values in a single variable so this is the beauty of array an array is used to store a collection of data but it is often more useful to think of an array as a collection of variable of the same types so very simple array is a special variable that you can just store inside that uh, variable just multiple lines of code or just uh, values so now we are going to learn how we can create array for creating array first we are going to write variable and you can create array in different ways so i'm just going to show you i'm going to teach you in my ways variable for example i'm just giving a name skills is equal to can just say new array a double r a y then just these two parentheses or you can say round back inside this round back here you are going to pass out the values how many values you want for example three values four values five values so there is no limit as many values you want you can just pass out here so i'm just writing here uh, html5 so here you can just say ss3 uh, javascript here you can just say wordpress and here you can say just php so as many uh, value I, uh, I told you already you want you can just pass out here for example you can just say here uh, blogger so we have just passed out here for right now six uh, values inside this array so you can just take the print of this we can use here document dot write function and inside this i'm just going to call the name of our variable which is a skill you can just save this now go to the browser and refresh so you can see we have here html css javascript wordpress php and blogger that we have stored inside this variable just inside one single variable you can just store unlimited data or values so you can see we have just used here a single just word you can just use here inside this the full sentence or the full paragraph inside this you can just store this then separate with a comma you can just store another values then a comma then just your next values so this is the beauty of where and inside array we can just call uh, just a data or a value by their index number by putting this two bracket so as we all know in uh, programming languages or in web languages scripting languages the counting will start from zero so this number zero number one number two number three number four number five so we have five values uh, we have just six values because in programming languages we count we start counting uh, from number zero so here we have till number five if you want to just take the display of html5 you must write the index number of zero here which html is on the index number of zero we can just save this now go to your browser and refresh so you can see we have html5 so the same thing if you want to take uh, the display of for example javascript so 0 1 2 the index number for javascript is uh, we are just writing here inside the bracket inside the square bracket we are writing here uh, save this and go to your browser and refresh so you can see we have javascript here so we are not going to waste the time on this because creating array is very easy this is the way of creating array first you you are creating a variable a name for your variable you are using the new keyword then array just like this you are writing array then these two parentheses then if you want to take the display you can use this method so this was about creating array in javascript so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next class